very good afternoon to everyone. As we are about to begin, please switch off your phones to have a smooth session. I, Sushmita Roy, of fifth, fifth semester LLB, on behalf of Legal Aid Clinic of CMI University School of Legal Studies, extend a warm welcome to all of you. It is our privilege to, to have you all with us today. We appreciate your participation in this legal awareness workshop, and we also hope that everyone finds this program to be enlightening and valuable. In today's gathering, we have Sri H. Shashidhar Shetty, District Judge and Member Secretary of Karnataka State Legal Services Authority. It is an honor to have you, sir. We are also accompanied by our beloved team, Professor Dr. T. R. Subramanya Singh, who is an inspiration to us all, and our director, Dr. V. J. Praneshwarit, sir, and all our faculty. Before we begin the session, we would like to share a short video introducing Legal Aid Team of CMR University School of Legal Studies, which has been conceptualized and developed by the students of Legal Aid. Now, I call upon Haripriya and team to perform the song. Those that are made for others. To me, 
and now request our beloved Kimsa to welcome us. Our respected guest of the evening, Mr. Sushindar Sethi, Member Secretary of the Legal Service Authority of the Karnataka Government, respected teachers and dear students. It is a unique occasion wherein Mr. Shetty has just decided to visit us and tell something about the legal services. A student, when he takes up a law course, naturally he should know what is happening in the society. And major role he has to play, not only before the court of law, but in educating the people, the poorer people of this country. And when he educates the people of what he has learned or about the legislation which is being enacted by the government, naturally, remember you are doing justice to the course which you have undertaken. Mr. Sashina Sriti is a wonderful person. He has served as a district judge in Bangalore Rural and served as uh, in the Lokai the court at Kalkami and has immense experience. Without wasting our time, I request the honorable guest to address the students. Respected uh, Professor T. R. Subramanya, Professor V. J. Paneshwaran, Director, Madam Vidya Sulamani, all the respectable faculty of CMR College, my dear students. At the outset, I would like to thank CMR University School of Legal Studies for uh, organizing this function this evening. Uh, just uh, I have seen the videos and itself reflects the involvement of the students here in uh, legal literacy and awareness programs. Friends, as far as uh, legal Service Authority Act is concerned. I will just uh, highlight the aims and objects of uh, the Legal Service Authority Act. What sh should be the role of students in the field? And what is the role of college in this field? As you all know, Legal Service Authorities Act 1987 came into effect from 9-11-1985. And the main object of the act is to provide free and competent legal aid to poor and weaker section of the society or marginalized section of the society. Article 39 a of the Constitution was introduced with an object that free legal aid should be provided to all the citizens who are poor, weaker, and who, are, who could not uh, afford legal services. The legal services definition is very vast. It includes everything. It may be the legal advice, the legal aid, or any legal assistance to the needy people. Insofar as uh, the legal awareness is concerned, it is the main function of our legal society. But uh, recently, from 2nd October to 14th November, we had a, a long legal awareness, Pan India legal awareness campaign throughout the state of Karnataka. And we had reached more than 29,736 villages 
in our state not once few villages were reached twice and thrice the object of this legal awareness campaign are twofold when we when we saw the statistics we could uh, realize that the legal service authority and its existence its work and functions are not known to the people people are ignorant about the existence of the very existence of the legal service authority the statistics shows that only 1% of uh, the lead exist uh, the pending legal cases the court cases pending cases wherein legal aid has been provided to the citizen that itself shows though the eligible persons are more we could not provide free legal aid to those persons the reason is again it is lack of awareness as i said people do not know that there is legal service authority and it is providing free legal aid and uh, services to the people when we come to this uh, legal awareness program is concerned we all say that ignorance of law is not an excuse but it is very easy to self in a country like india where uh, the illiteracy is more we can't expect the people to know every law even we judges and advocates we know some branches of law which we daily deal with that being the situation how can a person in a rural area remote corner would know about the law but it is the duty of the state through legal service authority to pro uh, arrange the programs awareness programs and tell the people what they write under at least basic important laws which we call as uh, jana samanarigagi kan the laws which are meant for the common people or makkaligagi kan or mahilarigagi kan that is law for women and law for child, children like that so these are all the important subjects which the people should know why i will give some few examples recently we had a uh, this year we had uh, three uh, four national lockdowns wherein we could dispose of more than 25000 to 30000 per entry cases in one national lockdown means it is a lack more than a lack case in four national lockdowns that itself reflects shows that people do not know that a birth or a death happened in a family should be registered with the local authority it is a small and very simple enactment but still people are ignorant if it is not registered on time then you know when the child is being admitted to the school they will face the problem they will come to the court they will file a case they have to engage advocate they have to pay money everything but if it is registered within the local authority within the time stipulated there in the act nothing so it is very simple process but still people are not aware of it likewise uh, motor vehicle accident cases when we deal with it and uh, when i was in belgavi i have seen many cases where the driver rider of the motorcycle or the driver of a vehicle they do not have the driving license or the vehicle is not insured what is the result if an accident happens and uh, the the party the third party is injured or deceased then it is a personal liability of the rider or the owner of the vehicle to pay the compensation if the vehicle is insured the insurance company will pay sometimes the compensation may runs to crores or at least pretty about 20 30 lakhs 50 lakhs so the poor man has to sell his uh, land more or more property so he will put into trouble like by section 6 of the amended uh, hindu succession act so they are also the people now made aware of the fact that the woman has got 
right of share in the co-parcelate property or the family property. And that's how in our uh, recent local dollars, we could dispose of more than 15,000 uh, partition suits. Actually, it is a good success. The people are uh, now aware of the fact that a woman is also equally entitled for a share in the family. This is all about uh, the legal service uh, awareness which we have to do and uh, we need your support because students are also a part of the system and I think that their role is very, very vital and important. The next role of or function of our legal service authority is uh, legal services and legal aid. We have more than uh, 1,000 uh, legal service clinics, print offices in various institutions, including the colleges. Recently, we had a meeting with all the vice chancellors of uh, the law colleges and principal, and we requested that as per the NALSA regulation 2011 and uh, 2013 scheme, all colleges must establish legal service clinic, and uh, the law students should be involved in legal service activities in coordination with the local uh, district legal source authority or at Bangalore, we, the Kalsa, Karnataka State Legal Source Authority. The legal services are twofold. One, in our legal service uh, clinics, we provide uh, services or advice. Any person who wants such facility, he can provide, uh, he can get that in our legal service clinic or in print offices established in our college, uh, all the ports. There are 149 print offices in uh, 149 Taloka legal service committees and 30 print offices in 30 district legal service authorities. Then the uh, other part is the legal aid, which is very, very important. As I said, only 1% of the people are approaching our legal service authority to get legal aid. Who are entitled for legal aid, free legal aid? Of course, it is not open for all. As per Section 12 of the Legal Services Authorities Act 1987, only few categories of the people are entitled for it. They are the persons who belong to scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, victims of trafficking, women and child, the victims of natural or man-made disaster, the person who is in jail, and uh, workmen in any industry and any person whose annual income is below 3 lakhs. Earlier it was 1 lakh from 2020 November it has been announced by the government at the of Kalsa to 3 lakhs. So these are all the persons who are eligible for free legal aid. So please, my friends, Whenever you go to the rural area or wherever the problem, uh, the occasion arises, please spread this message to the people because it is the right of the people. The person who is residing in the remote corner may not be knowing about his right. So he will be deprived of his legal right. So it's our duty to make him aware that as a citizen of this country, maybe he is poor, maybe he has some other problems, but the legal service authority is there to help him. A rich man can go to the court, engage a, a brilliant counsel, and uh, sue him. But poor man cannot tolerate this because he is economically backward. There, our duty lies and it is we we have, have to help him by providing free legal aid. What do you mean by free legal aid? You know, if a suit is to be filed, he has to pay the court fee. He has to engage counsel. For that, it requires money. In so far as free legal aid is concerned, it is all the expenses will be borne by the legal source authority. Maybe the counsel fee, the court fee, or any other miscellaneous charges or expenses that will be borne by our legal source authority. So, a party need not spend a single paisa from his pocket for fighting his case before the court. 
That is the very beautiful advantage of real estate. We have more than uh, two thousand real advocates. All the DLSs, DLSs, and Kalsa. We have our own panel advocates. An advocate who has completed more than three years experience in the field will be empaneled as uh, an advocate in our uh, legal service authority panel. And uh, considering the nature of the case, we will uh, give or debut such a uh, advocate to conduct the case before the court. And uh, every fee, uh, the fees will be the advocate fee will be paid with the authority to such advocate. So it is a beautiful concept. Please uh, give more awareness about it. Then the third function of the legal service authority is local. It is very famous in Karnataka. Uh, last uh, Saturday we had uh, the fourth and last national local level of this year. And we could dispose of uh, more than 337 cases in one day. In this uh, year, in four national local we could dispose more than 2 lakhs cases. In regular course, it would have taken more than 2-3 years for uh, more than 1,000 judges in Karnataka to dispose of that quantum of cases. So, Lokadalat is a beautiful system where uh, the party themselves decide what their future. So it is just like a mediation. Lokadalat, where a judge and an advocate will sit as a conciliator, uh, sit as conciliators. They will just guide the parties how to settle, how to come to arrive at a conclusion, and how to settle their case. There is no force, there is no compulsion, and uh, the advocate or the judge will not force anybody or any party that how to settle the case. It is for the party to decide. Then what is the benefit of this uh, Lokatala? As I said, it is win-to-win -win situation for both the parties. They will go back with all satisfaction. Brothers who are uh, fighting before the court for partition of their family property will be happy to go back with the same emotion and uh, uh, the relationship. It will keep up the relationship. Otherwise, you know, even if one party wins the case in uh, trial court, that is the Taloka court, the other party may file an appeal before the district court or the high court or the Supreme Court. And in our legal system, it takes more than uh, 25 to 30 years to settle a case up to Supreme Court. That is our system. Because so they, when you compare the number of cases pending before the court with the existence, existing uh, court, uh, it is uh, rarely matching and uh, it takes time to, set, uh, to adjudicate the cases. So that's how this local is very, very important, an alternative dispute resolution system and uh, people must go for that. And here also, awareness, people should know that I can settle my case before the local. Very simple method, by filing a memo, uh, by the party himself or through advocate, can, he can seek for uh, referring the case for, before the local and uh, uh, the case will be taken before the local, if not settled. The case will come back to the court and again the adjudication process will proceed. So there is no loss for any party. So I request you all to give more publicity about this local very, very uh, cheap and uh, uh, beautiful method of uh, settlement of uh, cases. Then uh, the other function of the legal society is the implementation of uh, NALSA scheme. There are uh, Continuous schemes are being uh, formulated and sent to all the state authorities and we are implementing it in Karnataka. We have already engaged or requested 10 honorable former uh, judges to guide Kalsa for implementation of 11 NASA schemes. So it is going on and it is very important. The other part of the legal source authority is uh, filing uh, public interest litigation and uh, fighting for the poor people. There are uh, so many cases wherein Kalsa is a party or our district legal society is a party. To give one example, in Pachanadi at Mangalore, there is one place, a hilly place, where uh, from 1967, 
the waste were uh, dumped. So since it is an elevated portion of the, the area, so after more than 40 years, one day, the rainy season, it slid over the agriculture lands. And um, more than 67 acres of agriculture lands are touched. So nobody asked this, nobody questioned this, nobody were, was there to uh, uh, just see the fate of the people there. So 48 families residing around that place who had lost that agriculture land. There was environment pollution, water pollution, air pollution. Nobody cared it. Then uh, our district legal Social authority submitted a report in that regard and based on that, our Khalsa filed a DL before the High Court. And now uh, strict directions were issued. More than 72 crores in dream composition has been paid to the parties. And uh, the High Court also directed the government to make provision for rehabilitation. In another case where uh, the High Court directed the government to frame scheme with respect to the people who are into begging and hawking, uh, sorry, children who are into begging and hawking in the street of Bangalore. So the government did not file any scheme then. Uh, the Honorable High Court directed Khalsa to do that, and we formed student uh, a team, including the students of various colleges. And we did uh, we filed a scheme, and we did a survey, mapping and survey, and identified more than 725 children in and around BBMB area Bangalore, and filed a detailed report to the court. And uh, we suspected more than 32 children out of 725 children are. Uh, subjected to trafficking and that repetition is 196 bar 20 is still pending and we are uh, pursuing it we want to rescue the children and rehabilitate them through the process of the uh, schemes of the government then uh, now i'll come to the role of colleges and students it is a according to me it is very dear to my heart. And uh, when, uh, when I took charge of, uh, as member secretary of Karnataka State Legal Source Authority, I just examined it and I found that in few colleges, only few colleges were uh, very interested and uh, they are into this uh, service. And uh, definitely the role of uh, colleges and students in all the functions, as I just elaborated it, is very wide. You may be knowing who are our workforce. Paralegal volunteers. There are more than 4,000 paralegal volunteers in Karnataka, in various districts and talukas. There are back. Likewise, the students, law students, are also very, very important. Coordinators who are supporting the legal source activities of the legal source authority. Friends, uh, what you learn here in the college may be theoretical, but when you go to the field, it is entirely different. The knowledge which we acquire in the field, you can't compare it. So it is a best process of learning the life and the system around you. I will tell you one example. When we had this Pan India program, the law students in Tumkur, the Tiptur, law students were also involved. And uh, our Taloka judge, along with the law student, had uh, a meeting or a program in a remote area. And she came to know from the villager, one of the villagers there, that uh, a boy has been locked up in a nearby home by his own father, saying that he's. Uh, mentally ill. So the judge along with the student went rushed to that home with along with the police and they saw the boy he was hopelessly beaten and uh, there was bruise and uh, injuries throughout uh, the whole, you know, whole body and uh, he was in a dark room and it was locked. So he was rescued and he was taken to hospital and treatment was given at a case was registered against the father and he was uh, sent to behind the bar. This one example, I, there are so many examples, I have no time here to tell you about it, but 
just to highlight that how the local problems or the problems of the poor people will you you can understand only when you go to the village area when you go to the uh, places where such problems are there you can't uh, estimate it or you can't come uh, you cannot uh, have any idea of it when you are in the college so college is one thing here but you learn is it's equally important but please involve yourself yourself in this uh, legal service clinic and uh, more legal service activities should be there conduct more awareness programs you participate in uh, our lok adalat system also recently when we had as i said when we had this uh, last law and national law the national law students national law college students bangalore the vice chancellor mr sudhir krishna mudhi had uh, come to our office and had a discussion and I, he requested me to involve his students in our uh, lok adalat process then we prepared a chart and a sop and uh, they sent more than 25 to 30 children students we enrolled them in the high court legal service committee as well as district uh, legal service authorities are one and rural they did well uh, very good job synopsis were prepared the ideas were given how because you know in lokadal uh, you can you can't settle a case in one day or at a sitting it takes reconciliation will take more more than two three sittings so in that process the students had participated and uh, they had uh, gained rich experience uh, from that likewise uh, the awareness program please conduct more awareness programs in uh, rural areas and another important uh, aspect which uh, i was uh, talking with your uh, honorable uh, professor subramanya that uh, the village camps we have a beautiful uh, model of village camps which we call legal service camp or camp model so there it is just like uh, you may be knowing about nss camps that is some somewhat a different type but here legal uh, the law students are involved it will be one you have to choose three or four villages and in the middle of one uh, the one area where we have to prepare these camps and door to door survey has to be conducted by the students every house you have to visit and you have to list out the cases pending there or problem the cases pending before the court as well the pre litigation cases case which not reach the court but a dispute is there in the house so pre litigation case as well as pending cases we have to list it out and small cases citizen centric issues will be there for example birth certificate insurance kata change like small small issues will be there driving license so on the last two days we will call all the local government offices maybe revenue department rto police and they have to settle the case then and there itself at that place so it will give a, a very good relief to the village people and uh, it will save them from coming to the court in a later point of time so this is uh, a beautiful uh, idea of uh, village module camp module and uh, the ultimate goal of uh, every legal service clinic in the college should be to make it a free uh, litigation free village so you can choose uh, we have uh, we have written letter to all the universities requesting them to choose at least five villages and uh, do this practice of awareness and as i said awareness about laws basic laws local law and uh, having this camp village camps in such villages it will uh, give good result i hope and uh, trust that every student who are uh, 
already engaged in our legal service clinic in this college. We'll be happy to do that. And uh, legal service authority is always ready to co coordinate, support you. And uh, we'll be happy to uh, join hands with you to do this uh, very noble uh, work. Let us do that. And uh, as I come here, since you are students, uh, one, two issues which uh, I want to mention, because in the recent uh, past, when I, when I, have, uh, I have been observing, uh, the victim composition scheme this is also part of I forgot to mention about the function. VCS, victim composition scheme, is also being paid by the Kalsa. Last year, we paid more than 969 lakhs for uh, more than 339 victims in the state of Karnataka. When we saw the cases, there are two issues. One is about uh, the Boksu cases. Out of 339 cases, nearly 312 cases are Boksu cases. Friends, uh, one, one thing I observed here, and out of, uh, even as a judge, I saw this, and it is a common phenomena, and uh, every judge will put it, admit it, that out of uh, 100, uh, the total pending cases, more than 60% cases are eloping cases. So, but you know, also act is a very stringent act, there are very serious uh, uh, punishment is, uh, enumerated therein. So, in engage in the adolescent age itself, the victims as well as the accused, maybe the accused is also very young. So, he, if uh, he is involved in this offense, he will be lodged in jail and you know, the bail is not, uh, will be granted easily. So, the whole life of that boy as well as the girl, because she may become pregnant and whole life will be point. So please make this aware, uh, the people aware of this and more particularly the young uh, students as well the other folk of our society that this is the age where you have to learn and uh, it is the platform for your right future and not to involve in these offenses and make your future dark. Please understand that. The second issue is drug abuse. It is uh, now talk of the town and everybody knows about it. And we have an answer scheme about this drug abuse and we have a scheme uh, committee about it and we will uh, deal with this uh, government. But friends, please understand that uh, this is a eminence and a curse for any country. So uh, enemy country need not uh, declare war against uh, the other country. If uh, it is capable of making its young people the users of the drug, then that itself is uh, sufficient to defeat that nation. Because a young generation is the future of uh, any country. And uh, we should be very careful in preserving the energy and uh, the future of our young generation. I hope that will be done. As far as child marriage is concerned, a beautiful video I have seen, as it is also our duty. As the citizen of this country, uh, I always say that uh, we declare, we proclaim, and we fight for our fundamental rights. We always talk about rights, but uh, nobody is ready to talk about duties. Article 51A of the Constitution says about duties. As a citizen, what you have to do? There is a, it's a high time to give more importance to citizen. As a citizen of uh, to the duty, fundamental duties, as a citizen of this country, as a respectable and a dutiful citizen of this country, what is my duty? So it is very easy to uh, I don't uh, undermine the fundamental rights as it is there and we have to protect the right of every citizen that is there. But as a citizen of this country, my duty is also very, very important. The rights and duties are uh, correlated and we can't uh, talk about the right and neglect the duties. So please understand this. And uh, uh, as I said, when you do just such programs, please involve yourself and make it uh, more uh, uh, make more propaganda about 
the legal source of that first because i am not uh, showcasing the legal source authority but it is because knowing about the legal source authority itself is a big boon for the people who are ed of legal services and in that sense in that angle i am telling you please make it a point that wherever you conduct such program tell about tell the people that in taluka there is taluka legal source committee in district there is district legal source authority and in the state state legal source authority and in the national level national legal source authority even in high court benches there are high court legal service committees so these are all the setup which with which we are working and uh, uh, okay i conclude with the uh, once again thanking thanking the cmr college for organizing this function and uh, i wish all the best to you all thank you thank you Thank you so much for your valuable insight, sir. I'm sure all of us have now understood the need and importance of legal aid and our responsibility as students to increase awareness in order to build a better, build a better society. So, with that being said, I would now like to invite Director Dr. Vijay Pranesh Mitra to welcome us. On behalf of CMR University School of Legal Studies, I deem it a great pleasure to be proposing the vote of thanks to our guest, Honorable Sri Shashidhar Shetty, District Judge and Secretary, Karnataka Legal Services Authority, for having put, put, put across the information in a very simple and very clear way. The articulation was so clear that it cannot be missed anywhere. The need for legal aid and services awareness. And we have heard from the authority. From here, we need to take it forward in the sense that it should, as articulated, that it should go to the citizens. Then the legal services authority and the intent is meaningful. That is where, as members of the legal fraternity, we have to pitch in the institution. The faculty and the students. Thank you very much, sir, for having us. As a token of our love. I'm also thankful to our beloved dean, Dr. T. R. Subramanian, and all the students. Thank you very much. I, on behalf of CMI University School of Legal Studies, thank you all for joining this webinar.